Hi guys, so welcome to Derive and in today's video we're going to answer in engineering mathematics with a topic of plane geometry. So let us proceed to the question. So we have a figure here of a truncated prism and the question is what is the volume of the given truncated prism given a horizontal triangular base with a different vertical edges? Uh, yes. so that different vertical edges is the H1, H2, and H3. And the horizontal triangular base is designated by the sides of A, B, and C. Now, na stated naman dyan na yun yung red, the figure, the triangular base, and the color blue are the vertical edges. And again, let us proceed to the real question with the specific details. So this is a passport exam problem and a multiple choice problem, of course. So I will read the problem. A truncated prism has a horizontal triangular base. ABC, so AB is equal to 10, BC is equal to 12 units, and CA is equal to 8 units. The vertical edges through A, B, and C are 20, 12, and 18 units long, respectively. That determine the volume of the prism. So as you can see, guys, the multiple choice has no units because the given on the problem is units only, not centimeter, not meter, not inches, and so on and so forth. So since lahat naman yan ay unitless sa given, so hindi, tayo may, hindi na tayo malilito. No, so kuwalan tayo ng red ink. So okay, so before we proceed to the solution, we, made, uh, we should define a truncated prism first. So a truncated prism though is a portion of a prism formed by passing a plane not parallel to the base and intersecting all the lateral edges. So magdo-drawing ako ng bukod na sample. Kunyari meron tayong cylinder na naka-front view. Yan. Yan. So may H siya dyan. Height and this is diameter. Kunyari may nag-pass na plane at makakat yung figure into two which is the plane cuts parallel to the base. So, ang mangyayari niyan, ito yung matitira at yung matitirang height is, kunyari, 10 dito, magiging 10 dito. Why? Kasi yung uh, plane na nagpass here is parallel to the base. Parallel, to, parallel siya sa diameter. At kapag naman, ang plane, kunyari, ito uli ang ating cylinder with a height and diameter D, nagpass ang plane not parallel to the base, pwedeng pababa or pwedeng pataas. And in this case, sabihin na natin pababa. So, ibig sabihin, ang magiging resulta niyan ay magiging ganto. Ito yung diameter mo, ito yung H mo, and we may call this height as an H2, and this will be H1. Kasi nga, magkakaroon ka ng dalawang magkaibang value ng height. Kasi nga, yung nagpass na plane is not parallel to the base. So, this has the same situation on our figure, kaya nagkaroon ng H1, H2, and H3. Kasi nga, uh, ang sabi sa definition, passing a plane not parallel to the base. So, ibig sabihin, sir or ma'am, kapag nagpass ang plane parallel to the base, ang H1 and H2, H3 na to ay, ay merong the same amount. Okay? So, in this case, Ito yung, uh, ito yung truncated prism. Kasi nga, a plane pass not parallel to the base. So, we expect a three different amount of vertical edges. Okay, so, ano nga muna ba ang volume ng truncated prism? So, we have the formula of volume is equal to A sub B times summation of H over N. Ano muna ba yung summation of H over N na ito? So, ang summation of H over N Ito yung average ng heights kasi nga magkakaiba yung kanyang value. So sabihin na natin magkakaparehas, kunyari yung plane na nagpass ay parallel to the base. Ibig sabihin kung meron akong height na 10, 10 plus 10 plus 10 divided by n kung ilang yan, so divide 3, 30 over 3, so magiging 10 pa rin. Kasi nga, ang nagpass na plane is parallel to the base. Since this plane is not parallel to the base. So this will become summation of H over N or just the average of the three heights or kung ilan man yung heights or N heights. So H will become H is equal to H1 
plus H2 plus H3 over 3. So in this case, our H1 is, ang sabi, ito daw ay the vertical edges through A, B, and C are 20, 12, and 18 long respectively. So ang A, ang H2 daw ay 20 kasi through A. Ayan. So sabi naman, through B, H1 is equal to 12. Ayan. And through C naman is 18. So, okay. So kapag medyo nakabisa mo na ito or na familiar uh, rise, na familiarize ka na sa situation na ito, sa problem na ito, hindi mo na titingnan dyan kung sino sa H1, sa H2, sa H3 kasi tatlo naman na yung given. Okay? So i-average mo lang naman. Okay? So in this case, H is equal to H is equal to H1, 12 plus 20 plus 18 divided by 3. So that was 20 plus 12, 32. 12 plus 20 plus 18 divided by 3. So that was 50 over 3. So a fraction na lang natin form. So meron na tayong summation of H over N. So we're going to find na lang the area of the base. So what is that area of the base? So in the figure we have and we have a base of triangular uh, shape. Kasi sabi a truncated prism has a horizontal triangular base. Okay? So in this case meron tayong given na AB daw is equal to 10. And AB is equal to 10. So this is your 10 units. BC is equal to 12. And CA daw is equal to, to 8. So, this, so since the triangle given na base ng truncated prism has a different value of sides, meaning we can use the formula of the area of the triangle given ABC sides. No? Ibig sabihin, three different sides or three different values we can use the formula of Heros formula. It is the square root of S times S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, and your ABC corresponds to the three sides of the triangle. So, kahit ano naman siguro dyan maging yung A, maging B, or maging C, uh, mahalaga involved sila lahat sa square root. And ano ba nga ba yung S na to? Ang S na to is the what's you so-called the semi-perimeter, and it is the summation of the three sides divided by two. It is not an average, guys. Iba yun. Semi-perimeter kasi nga kapag pinag-plus-plus mo yung sides that uh, matatawag mo yung perimeter and kapag semi-perimeter semi meaning it is half. So, ibig sabihin, madi-divide sa two yung summation ng sides. So, that will be A sabihin na natin uh, sabihin na natin 10 Kahit ano dyan, basta 3 sides yung given. 10 plus 12. Tama ba? 10 plus 12 plus 8. Okay. So 10 plus 12 plus 8 divided by 2. So that was 10 plus 12, 22 plus 8, 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15. So salpak na lang natin sa area. It will become 15 times 15 minus 10 15 minus 12 and that was 15 minus 8 so we're going to have the value of area of the base so salpak na lang natin dito at salpak na lang natin dito magkakaroon na tayo ng volume so our volume will become Sabi natin V is equal to ano ba yung area ng base? So, calculate natin yan. So, that was square root of 15 times 15 minus 10, that was 5. 15 minus 12, that was 3. And 15 minus 8, that was 7. So, the answer is 39.7. So, that was your area of the base and times the summation of height over n or the average of the three vertical edges or vertical height. So that was 50 over 3. 
And the answer will be 661.44 units. Okay, so meron ba tayong 661 sa choices? Ayan, so ayan. Meron tayo agad sa letter A. The 661.44. So I think this is a uh, round off, rounded off lahat ng Biben. And obviously naman siya ang pinakamalapit sa 661. So the answer is letter A. Okay, so uh, that's enough for today and I hope nakatulong itong problem na ito bilang additional knowledge for us and additional knowledge for our review. So uh, kita kits tayo sa mga susunod na videos that will be uploaded on this channel and please visit our page uh, nasa description ng link and please subscribe to our channel. Ayun lang guys, thanks for listening. Ayun, thank you again and God bless. Bye-bye.